Update 4 on Hurricane Gaston, which is a 105 mile an hour Category 2 storm with a pressure of 970 millibars, moving northwest at a slower 4 miles per hour. Position 30.4 degrees north, 54.8 west, as of 3 p.m. UTC, August 28th. The storm is expected to curve towards the north, almost stalling, and then off to the northeast and accelerating off that in that direction over the North Atlantic. Peaking probably as a Category 2, but it could make it to Category 3, possibly, before weakening and then uh, passing the Azores, probably turning post-tropical not long after that as a Category 1. Now, the threat to Bermuda and the Azores remains somewhat low, particularly in Bermuda. I don't think it's going to affect Bermuda at all. The northwestern part of the Azores island chain may see something from Hurricane Gaston, but time will tell. In terms of where exactly it's going to go, here's a graphic showing where it's going. Uh, so stalling, as I say, over the next day or two, and then at the start of the week it's going to move off to, towards the northeast, over the water, um, and eventually you'll see the Azores popping up on the right hand side of your screen and Gaston will pass, hopefully harmlessly, past the Azores but we may see some watches or warnings coming into effect. There's the westernmost islands towards the end of the, uh, this run here into Thursday. So, uh, let's take a look at the current conditions then. Sea surface temperatures uh, looking fairly warm right now. Temperatures over the storm are around 27 Celsius. Just came out of the 28 area, which probably fueled its intensification to start with. Um, so that could cast a little doubt on whether it will be a Cat 3. We'll see. Um, and the wind shear is um, low to moderate. It's just left a low area and it remains to be seen whether it will decrease ahead of the storm. Um, but Gaston could intensify when all is said and done. But just uh, the same token, it may well weaken as well as it stalls over those waters, upwelling and whatnot um, as the storm slows down. But let's take a look at right now the floater imagery. How does it look on satellite? Well, there it is. You can see the eye trying to pop out but didn't manage to do it for very long and it's uh, a storm that's still trying to get its act together, trying to consolidate and certainly um, spinning out there in the central Atlantic away from any land interests and a, perhaps a bit of a dry air environment, yes there it is in the yellows off towards the northwest of Gaston so that may also cause one or two issues especially to the northern, northwestern part of um, the storm and the eye wall. There it is on the um, infrared imagery, the basin wide image and as we pan out you'll be able to see everything else that's going on in the Atlantic including 91L and 99L. 91L you will see just on the left hand side there it is a big flare up coming out of that system in the last few hours could be a tropical depression very soon maybe um, and you can track all of these invests on the website force13.com forward slash tracker uh, that's when we're not doing video updates of course but there's Gaston in the centre of your picture, and it's uh, one of 50 tropical storms that have formed so far in 2016. It's 21 hurricanes, 74 miles per hour or higher, and 9 category 3 storms or higher um, around the world in 2016. We are sort of doing averagely compared to most of the other recent seasons. We're 7 storms behind 2015 at this point in time, but that was above average. You can follow Force 13 on any of its outlets, the website force13.com and its forum. Or you can also follow us on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter, search Force 13 all in text. You can also add Fool 13 on Skype for tropical weather chat at any time. The next update on Gaston will follow tomorrow, that will be um, on Monday, probably at the same time of day, but we'll see what, what occurs and whether we may need to do an update sooner, but I should think not. That's all for now.